Hello guys and welcome to episode 116 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be hopefully taking back Dad nice and quick. We can hopefully surrender that. Yep, they accepted it. Oh, and the buildings are fine as well. Okay, great, because we don't actually have the money to uh, do anything about it anyway. Like, we wouldn't be able to repair them or anything. At your service. Uh, let's have this continue down. On your Majesty's service. Oh. That one's actually going to try and get in there. Speed things up. I'm just going to do this while we're here. I may as well have this agent actually continue down this way as well. Because he's no longer needed in Baghdad. All right, we actually have these battles to do down here. Let's just quickly do these. Brilliant. Now they can move back to Damascus, where the cannons await. Because we have this chap, Eugene Hale, who is uh, going to consolidate these forces again and head towards the east. Right, let's go through our soldiers here. And Leopold, who is replenishing, I believe. We have Goodwin, who is also just chilling for now. We've got Nathaniel, who's not moving anywhere until we sort out this port. And we have Albert Edwardson. Uh, probably just going to have to keep him where he is for public order purposes for the time being. Then we have Joss Mitchell, who is also replenishing. We have Joseph Dobson, who's again doing the same. Curtis Allen, and is that it? I think it is. Right, let's just go through the fleets quick. I haven't done this in a little while. We might actually be able to take out this navy with our merchant ships. Yeah, the Admiral is actually using a trade ship. So we could probably just grab Where to, Captain? our units here orders, and just obliterate them. Our nation! I actually don't think my second navy got involved, but there we go. Right, we'll capture that, and uh, they can actually sit on that trade post, and we'll just move back to our other trade posts. Beautiful. Get an extra 240 a turn for doing that. And we get rid of them at the Confederacy Navy. Right, let's have a look at this navy. This one is replenishing, that's fine. Alright, that's uh, pretty much everything. We've got the two in the Caribbean Sea, and then we've got uh, Winston Stark, who's on his way to the East Indies. So, let's move on to the next turn. Hiding. Looks like there were a couple agents, so I didn't move, but... In general, rakes can just stay where they are for the most part. <laughs> like... They're not actually that useful other than just maybe spotting what's coming. Giving us the information of armies heading our way. But you can do that with any character. Enemy fleet! Ahoy! Oh. Okay. They're being attacked. I'm actually not sure I want to play this. They have some pretty replenished units. Like their initial army? You might be able to beat this on its own, the 800 men. But the extra 500, I feel like it might just be a little step too far. Yeah, I'm going to try and retreat. Meet the retreat. Alright, well, they're going to consolidate that force. That's okay, I guess. We're going to have to head back to Copenhagen and replenish, I think. Because there's no way that I'm going to be able to defeat an army that big otherwise. Not with the forces that are as depleted as they are. I wonder where they're trying to go. They're just walking past Baghdad. Don't really seem to care. a lot of movement for one nation I'll tell you that much All right, successful mission, great not actually too much happening although 
Winston Stark has arrived in the East Indies. Right, let's see where this trade goes. It does go back. It actually provides us with 6,860. Does this go to India? It does. Oh, that's not good. Because this could quite easily be raided. Although it does bring us a hell of a lot of income. Hmm, that's awkward. Alright, well, either way, we've got successful mission there, there, and we have traits and ancillaries gained. Okay, cool. Recruitment report. Our trade ships are ready to go again. Lovely. There should be two more queued up. Yep. That's all good. A couple more merchant navies almost ready to go. Brilliant. I built up those roads. So now we just need to decide what we're going to do with this army. I can probably just move straight out, right? Yeah, because it probably has a really low population. And we've also got the body house there. So now it's just a matter of like heading south down here. Which yeah, may take a little while uh, by the looks of things because the road's a bit weird. Um, if we're going to have to backtrack actually, it's probably worth like upgrading this road. And uh, maybe the roads, the roads at Moscow are maxed. But these roads we could probably do. Uh, the other thing I need to do is uh, sort out the replenishment for our force. So let's get back into Copenhagen and uh, we will replenish those. That's going to cost us a lot. Uh, I think there's another army somewhere that needs a lot of replenishment. But for now, let's just uh, head back towards Damascus here. And I might have the cannons just come out, join this army. And we can start to consolidate it. And I can just pick them up and start walking across the desert. Right, recruited a couple of dragoons there. We've got these guys in position. Is that going to be everything done? I think it is. Yes, my lord. I think I recruited like one too many men. I think I guess I'll leave like the the lowest replenished one, and that's fine. Why did that not work? Then, no, it was right. Okay, that's that's odd. I think it's just because I didn't press the button, right? Yeah, we're good. Yes, sir. We could. I going to say use some cannons, but yeah, we have cannons. All right, yes. let's head towards this uh, Russian army and go destroy Russia. Because we're going to destroy yes, them here as well this turn. They, they actually refuse that surrender, so we'll just go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. And then we'll have to head back from there as well. Okay. All right, time to go through the lists. Yeah, Russia only has one more province left, and then they are destroyed. Uh, they are trying to be irritating uh, with these forces, which is a pain in the ass, because I'm having to wait to replenish, but... Yes, we'll see. Right, we can get in there. These guys can go in there. Good. More. This army's actually ready to go. Alright, cool. This one isn't, though. So we want to select all except the militia. Ready. And hopefully we'll be in a position to attack this town. Or maybe I could just come down and help deal with these lots. Hmm. Alright, or oh, actually better than that, we'll meet up with our guards here. 
We'll just make sure that army's sorted. Brilliant. Okay, that's uh, that's perfect. And this is just an army of militia. Uh, what are we actually up against down here? Just a load of cav units. It's just uh, such a pain in the ass because they're so fast. You can just run all over the place. So many units are coming up from the Maratha Confederacy right now. Right, let's continue through the armies at least. Yeah, Leopold's still chilling. Uh, Goodwin. I'm uh, still waiting for this force. But since they're there. Oh, our recruitment's nearly done anyway. That's fine. Alright, that's fine. Uh, that uses up all the movement points. Uh, we have this army. Going to go jump in Ankara. This was the one that required the money. Okay. What is this? It's just a single unit of line infantry. It's probably going to go all the way up to Ank Arkhangelsk, right? And then just try and take that, which would be really annoying. How many of these can I actually take out? Because you might be able to just chase them down with militia, which would be a pretty good idea. We outnumber him, so we should win. Famous last words. Oh, we got him. Although, he kind of retreated the way that I wouldn't want him to. <laughs> Typical. Absolutely typical. Oh, we need to get rid of this great ashram. Any other units, actually, or places I need to get rid of? That's a modern university. Are we using that? It's in Georgia, right? Let's have a look. So we're only researching like two, three more technologies, actually five technologies. And honestly, it might be worth keeping this one. Because it is so big. Like, it's a, it's a completely upgraded one. Then again, eh. if we change, we'll lose the research points, maybe. So, I think I'm just going to demolish it. We'll get rid of it. And uh, let's see elsewhere. We need to burn that down. We need to burn that down. Burn that down. Great. Don't know if I'm going to fix that up yet because there's uh, enemy armies nearby. I think the main thing is uh, potentially just destroying these units. But we're in a pretty sticky spot here, actually. I'm going to have to replenish. We can't follow these forces. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to use Joss, I think, to uh, clean them up. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. We could actually have Nathaniel send some more troops out. Uh, we don't need these crappy militia forces in here anymore, so we can move them on. We've also got this unit of militia. I'm just going to send that to Yelavan. Alright, next up is that army, which is fine. That army is replenishing, and then Wheatley's now replenishing, and Murdoch's fine. So is Harry. Right, we might want to think about taking out this unit. But yes. I can't do it with the units that are in the settlement. That's kind of awkward. So we're going to have to use this one, I think, to attack. And that is going to pull the garrison, but... Weirdly enough, it's a bit too close to actually auto-resolve. <laughs> They've only got one unit. Very odd. 
can't believe I'm having to play this out. It's so lame. Uh, let's just make sure that's unlimbered. Alright, off we go. Far away, boys. I don't want my calf. I just need more line infantry. Maybe more cannons is fine. There we go. Right, let's just uh, save for the canister now. Well, we're still killing a lot with each of those shots, even if they aren't the most ideal. Oh, okay, that's better. They're going for the charge. I feel like they are. Alright, we'll have the cannon crew run away. And, uh, I guess we'll just line up and fire some volleys into the back of them. And that should be job done. I don't really want to take any damage on the troops. Yeah, I don't want to take any damage on the troops that are reinforcing because otherwise I'm just going to have to spend more money. And wait more turns to replenish. I'm just running them down so it destroys the unit and they don't just end up running off. That'll do. It's only two men left. Alright, well that was uh, relatively quick. Alright, cool. Uh, there is an army on its way. Alright. Let's continue through the soldiers. Oh uh, yeah, we're replenishing. We got uh, just a load of militia all over the place. And that's pretty much it. Unless this unit wants to come down. Can he even leave? We can. Perfect. Alright, fleets aren't going anywhere. How's our income doing? 28,000. I'm surprised it's so low. Especially considering we do have that East Indies trade now. It does obviously depend if it's being blockaded or not, but I don't think it is. If I go to the Straits of Madagascar, it's, yeah, it's still fine. It's still fine through here as well. So the trade is making it all the way back. All right, well, um, there we go. That guy's not very good. We boot him. Yep. That's better. Okay, well, that's that for this turn. Let's move on to the next one. I'm a bit curious to see where the AI is going to walk. going to be the last hole, hold of the uh, Russians at Finland. Oh, a Swedish Navy. Interesting.
these big armies are just going to start popping up out of nowhere as the uh, Marathi Confederacy start consolidating their troops. You see like the never-ending wave of extra units coming up that road. It's nice of them to move towards me a little bit. That one maybe not so much. I cannot wait to just like start putting more dents into the Marathi Confederacy because it is such a waste of time having to watch all of their stuff. I guess I could turn off like show you like AI movement, but I do want to keep track of the armies. I just they have so many at the moment and they're all like small stacks. It's just annoying. What are they even doing now? Doing something. I have to wait and find out. Oh, well, finally made it. It's a very long time. Okay, uh, let's just go and attack this port. And we are going to probably jump on in and fight this. I want to see how the rockets do. Because we now have the rockets available and we haven't actually used them yet in battle other than rocket ships. I think the land rockets are... Uh, very different in how they work. They cause a lot more panic in the lines. Just trying to see where would be best. Probably on this right hand side. Where's the range on these? Wow, it's massive. Actually massive. <laughs> okay. Sure. Just gonna put that in between. Uh, these can all line up like so. Completely fresh army. It's so weird to have this many like large units. Alright, send the deployment. And I guess I'm going to fire at the Hand Mortar Company. Let's try that. Going to try and hit these cannons before they unload. Wasn't quite ready. How are these doing? Well, here goes. Did that guy just like tank one to the face? I think this guy literally caught a rocket to the face. Uh, maybe I could just send some of my cav around the flank. That might be a good idea. As they get closer, those shots are going to get more and more concentrated. Go to canister now. And just fire it well when they're in range. That's already a unit that's running away.
Oh, we got the horses going straight for the calf. Or straight for the artillery, sorry, not calf. There we go. Lovely. Uh, let's just stop them firing again, turn them back on to fire it well. We killed the general, that's good. Just get my yeomanry out of there. And it seems as though they're falling back for the time being. Well, I'm patient, I can wait. Let's just uh, speed things up though, uh, so that we can continue to fire our artillery at them and see what happens. Damn those uh, rockets. Must cause a lot of morale damage. I think they're trying to hit, yeah my cav for the most part how are they missing oh, that one hit the edge of the unit that's good hand mortar company are going to do quite a lot of damage actually to that unit. Pretty bad. Maybe I actually have to move back. Yeah, that's fine. I will right, we'll go run them down. Do have to be careful not to kill my own units with the rockets there. All right, nice. So now it's just a matter of dislodging this unit. And then hopefully running them down. I love the the way that it says like confident fresh concerned general dead <laughs> as if like they don't actually care that the general's dead because they're still confident that they're going to win in this situation don't make me laugh ha 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 let's see uh, where do we want to put our cannons probably here I'm just going to bring along a few units to accompany them Whilst the fireworks go to work. It's good that we pretty much ran down the other unit though. Oh, hello. That's uh, a potential charge coming our way. Boys. I'm not sure they're going to get decent shots there though. Oh 
on, really. Really? Stop it. They're going to end up breaking all the carriages. It's disaster. Just artied like all my own dudes. And lost a complete arty piece. Wow. Good on your Russians. Get the charge into the back of him. <laughs> it's just so cheesy how the AI does that sometimes. I'm gonna run him down just to make sure they're actually fully dead. Alright, that'll do. Oh, I can't believe that. That's so annoying. We only need one set of cannons to do the breach trick, although I don't think there's walls here, so we're not going to be able to do it anyway. Now let's just carry on without our cannons. On Smeaton, extra research. We got uh, a gentleman in Ukraine. Great, right. Well, we need to get him to a place which actually has a university, unless we actually have one in Ukraine, and I forgot about it. There is an empty building here that is currently poor. Well, very poor though, so we're going to put a craft workshop there. Uh, let's go back to this agent. I'm trying to think where I have the universities. I guess I can just check on here. We'll go ahead and do that. Heidelberg's all the way over here. Uh, Graz might be the closest. Uh, Marburg's up top. Yeah, I think uh, Graz is the closest. So let's uh, send him to Graz. Alright, lovely. Uh, we got some more units created. Bunch of ships. Are we recruiting any more here? No. Okay. Alright, so the idea is to get him onto the ships, right? But he actually hasn't replenished. Hmm. Maybe we just spend a couple turns hopefully replenishing. And then what we can do is in the meantime build up even more of these Indiamen those two turns that it's going to take and that way we'll have like a little trading fleet out of this as well good By the transit of Venus scientific expeditions have set out from many nations to observe the transit of Venus a rare phenomenon in which the second planet passes in front of the sun. Such transits occur in pairs separated by eight years and more than a century apart. They are an incredible opportunity to better inform ourselves about the motions of the celestial bodies and, with such a scheme from the late Edmund Halley, scientists hope to pull their data to more exactly measure the distance of the sun from the earth. Though many of the expeditions are still returning from far-flung corners of the globe, their data unpublished, Mikhail uh, Lomonosov has announced from his St. Petersburg Observatory an exciting discovery of his own. Lomonosov observed a bright outline around Venus at the beginning and end of its transit, and has attributed it to the presence of an atmosphere around the planet, which refracted the sun's rays to create the observed outline. Further expeditions are planned for the 1769 transit, and this unprecedented collaborative effort by scientific nations of Europe will surely lead to new and astounding revelations. Very cool. Andrew Plummer has died of natural causes. 
Very old. And uh, we have machine tools. Complete at Heidelberg. All right, that's going to open up steam engine, which will then allow us to build the steamships, which is very cool. Oh yeah, we were also building loads of trade ships around England as well, weren't we? Yeah, that's what we were going to do. Because I was going to bring those ships back with the navy over here so that I could get my navy and go around to India. Yeah, Or actually, we might just go and finish off Denmark first so I don't have to come all the way back to do that. But yeah, either way, uh, that's what we were going to do. Uh, let's go meet all of our ships at Greenwich. Are we building more than one? We are. Okay. Yeah, because I worked out it was going to take a couple turns. But I can't move these ones just yet. I can, however, move this navy to go and intercept this Swedish navy up here. Which is, in fact, quite good. So, we're going to jump on in and fight this manually. I didn't actually expect this to be more fourth rate. Because we've just destroyed so many Swedish ships so far. These ones are quite damaged. Uh, we're probably just going to end the deployment and sail towards them. The wind is actually in our favour as well, so... Okay. We'll just come across them like so. It's got to really be on like an intercept course, I guess. I don't really want to let my sixth rate get too far ahead. These sixth rates are pretty dangerous in that position. I'm actually going to have them go sail off on their own. They can get downwind of the uh, fourth rates here so that we don't have to deal with them the same way. Look at them go. They are powering through with those sails. Maybe I should uh, put the sails up to full on these ships as well so we cut across nice and quick. we go. Uh, one thing I am going to want to do is slow down the other ships. because They are all coming in hot. Just slow them down. Because I don't want them to obviously miss their opportunity to fire. Especially considering... This one turned around. Well, that ship only has 15 guns. I could probably just board them. We're with the wind, so we could probably just get all up in their face and go board them. See about boarding them. Go capture those ships and get some money for it. Are we going to be coming into the wind now? Which is not ideal, but... Looks like they surrendered, so that's fine. They are routing. 
Let's just turn our ships in. Alright, well I tried to board, but I uh, guess it doesn't really matter. On the nice broadside there. damage from the second rate is just ridiculous. Straight up the rear of the ship there. should be surrendered and that one as well very shortly especially if I manage to get some shots right in the back of it yep there we go another broadside coming in there well that's nasty close victory British Navy winning again. Let's go ahead and uh, just sell those. We don't really want them, so we'll take the prize money. Beautiful. We've gone through all that already. Let's now carry on up towards England, I guess. Where's my navy over here? Okay, so it's here. That's fine. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is uh, go have a look at Finland briefly. Okay, well, we're actually blocked there by the Swedish navy that's in port. The only way we're going to get around that is by blockading it. And I don't really fancy blockading it. Oh, okay, we can actually get through by doing that. That's fine. Oh, that is a large, large garrison. Orders, Captain. Your Majesty. That would be a tough battle, especially with the limited amount of cannons we have. Eesh. Eesh, eesh, eesh. That's not good. Alright, I got a plan. We're going to build a couple yes, cannons. I'm going to pick them up with the ships and we'll drop them off with the with the navy or with the army here to uh, make sure we have enough to complete that battle we might actually get attacked in the end turn that could happen and then we'll play it defensively which would probably end up better i think unfortunately though guys it has been my time in the next episode i will go through the rest of the lists and uh yeah we'll see what happens with this army here I will definitely try and wait for the guns if I can in the next turn. I should be able to pick them up through the port and drop them off into Gordon Amherst's army in the same turn. So we'll try and do that if we can. But uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye.